got an idea for a new project. I've got no idea if it's going to work. I've got no idea how to do it, really. I mean, I kind of do, but kind of not. I just need to figure it out as I go. I'm standing on six books right now. <laughs> At the end of the haul, I feel like it needs some kind of dedicated entryway space. There's a really awkward little box that's been built in there. Um, I've opened the doors to that before and there's just like dead gas pipes in there. The plan is to build a kind of makeshift box furniture piece thing. <laughs> I'll pop up on the screen just now what area it is we're tackling. So this is the area of death that we are gonna tackle this weekend. This is the awkward little built-in box that's covering the dead gas pipes. It's like proper built into the wall. Literally just want to do something that slots over it. Don't know how high it's going to go. Don't know what's going to go above it. Don't know if it's going to have any shelves or drawers or anything yet. Um, so yeah, let's try it. The fun thing is as well that um, I'm planning on reusing it was actually CD shelves, like who even needs CD shelves these days. Those are in the garage at the minute. Um, I need to sit down and do a sketch of what I'm gonna build, um, get some measurements. A sock. So the idea is um, that it's gonna be like a carcass for the unit. It's taken a bit of jiggery pokery, but I think we'll be able to do it. I'm gonna drag the wood out of the shed and start cutting. You're getting to see all my sins now. This is the two units that I'm gonna be using um, that were the CD shelves in the kitchen. So you can see that the width is quite good. I don't know how it's going to be working with this stuff. We'll see how we go. which is amazing. Uh, it's all went well so far. Um, I've numbered all the pieces uh, to correlate with my wee diagram that I've made. This battery's gonna die but I'll quickly show you the wood. Those are all the pieces. Um, basically, next step is to join it together. I just need to bear in mind that this is, these units are like 20 quid units that are basically rubbish. So here we go, we'll wing it. Some clamps, some L brackets, and some glue. What could go wrong? So it was about this time that I stopped trying to vlog and build the unit at the same time. It was just getting a bit too stressful. So once I'd finished screwing together the sort of outside bits of the unit in the garden, I pulled that into the space in the entryway and started screwing in inner parts that was going to hold it all together. So by this point the unit had really started to take shape. It had stayed up all by itself for a couple of days, which is all we can really ask for, right? I painted it a really gorgeous blue. 
and now it was time to head back into the garden, get my circular saw out and cut down a piece of wood for the top of the unit. So the frame of the unit was done, it was time to head to B&Q, pick up some strip wood, and make some dang doors. Finally you guys, it's time for the reveal. Let me remind you what this area looked like before. So dark, so dingy. Here's how it came out. I could not be happier with it. Thank you so much for watching you guys, let me know what you think.